epic intro music. Hello, Penwalls, hello, good big to see and welcome back to part 41 of my Rohan campaign, The Divide and Conquer, version 5. Now we've got a huge battle straight away. I have Theodred separated from the main army, and he, the captain just happens to be called Leonair. That's completely random, because I couldn't reach in the one turn, and I had him separate, so I had to kind of strike the army. So I don't know how it's going to work morale-wise. We're just going to have to watch the rest of the army a bit more closely, and definitely don't get the captain killed. I thought I had to strike this one quick, because, again gonna have a lot of troops and we need to get this main army out of the way first before one of the ring wraiths comes to lead it which i'm sure that's their plan because look we're missing there's a free space here and no leader <laughs> it's got so it's got a troll catapult so there's some trolls on a catapult and i've never encountered this before so that is going to be absolutely amazing to try to fight I guess we still send the cavalry into the back of it, because otherwise it's going to shoot us, shoot the hell out of all of our units. Same with the ballista. But the captain... Oh no, the captain is on the catapult too, look. So if we kill the catapult, we kill the morale. So that is definitely the key unit to defeat. So we're going to get right into it. And I do also want to mention... Wow, okay, look, quick um, Rohan quote here. I might need that. That's always important. But yes, I wanted to mention the amazing episode last time out. Um, and wow, look at this. This is the first time we're actually fighting in the Deadlands. This is the first time we are fighting inside Mordor. Look at this map. Red sky, black land. Right. Let's go. I'm not sure I ticked the right box. Oh, I did. Good. <laughs> okay, so we are completely isolated. We have Theodred against an entire army. Uh, we have to wait for the backup, essentially. They will have the high ground, but, I, but they won't have the high ground for long because the archer range, they'll have to come all the way down to actually fight us if they're coming this direction. Uh, we've got a good amount of spears, though, so we can definitely hold the line. We've just got to try to lure them over. Let's actually get back up here. We'll just... We'll try to eliminate the catapult. We know they're on the other side of this hill. We don't want to get trapped. But I think we need to spot them. Okay, can we... I don't even know which way we can go because you can't... Look. So it looks like we can go down here. And it looks like they can get up... Okay, so there is the troll catapult by the looks of things. So we want to try to go that way. Yeah, I'm going to go back up and around now. Yeah, because we want to try to hit that unit before we do anything else. Okay, so they're running away from me. I don't know if it's going to be a silly idea, but I might try to move my line over here. You know, if they're not going to push towards me, I will slowly walk them over here. I'll just have to halt them at whatever point we need to. And the, uh, the captain is actually in that unit there, so... I want to watch that. And that's Fiedrid, okay. So we'll get a little... We'll march them slowly. But we want to go over there. We want to get... Where are they going? If they keep running like this, that'll just be a bit annoying. <laughs> And the captain being in the troll catapult, I'm assuming it's an orc standing with them, not an actual troll. Although I may be wrong. We need to wait for them to reform, look. Well, we can hit the ballista while they're moving away, look. For sure. I don't know where they've left the troll catapult, actually. But the, the, cat, the, the ballista is dead, look. So we'll just grind through the ballista. Yeah, the catapult's right in the middle, look. Um, we do want to watch the line now, look, because they're all coming up here and we are moving. Okay, so we want to kind of hold the line, I think. So they've actually kind of got us off guard here because they're going to pop up here and we can't actually shoot. So maybe I want to run back. Oh, I don't know, honestly. Now we're going to need to at least take this ground, I think. And these, th this is the captain unit, so we don't really want to flank too hard with them. Because if that guy gets killed, the rest of them can run. Right, I don't know where I want the catapult, honestly. 
probably just turn him where he is, if I'm being perfectly honest. Uh, but we're running everybody into position now. And we've eliminated the ballista at least, so that's something. And I will put the time down now because they're actually getting very close to our line. And we're already shooting at them. Okay. And then we're definitely going for those trolls. But there should be like an orc. I don't know which one it is, but one of them should be the captain standing with them. And we only have to kill him. Okay. But eliminating the ballista, that's definitely good. Just kill him. And then we're going to have to get back up there quickly. Yeah, because we're about to get... We're about to engage them. Okay, so you need to get up there. They're covering the guy quite nicely. But we'll just cycle charge everything we can. Uh, until they... Leave the trolls behind. Like, we'll start on these archers for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, so we're going to need to start firing the catapult. Uh, I'm going to put fire at Will on for the moment, and then we'll pick targets if he starts getting too close to our line. Let's try to charge these archers and see what happens. Okay, we might just have to leave the troll catapult firing. I don't know how risky that is. Because we might have to stop them charging our lines. And it doesn't look like we're going to be able to fight through to the actual troll catapult itself. Okay. You're the captain, so I might have to run them back. But for the moment, it'll be sensible to get that flank attack. Kill the Marine Guard, they're wavering. So I'm going to run him into that flank attack and then I'm going to run him back. Okay, running him back. Because we don't want, him get him, don't want to get him killed. This is very risky because we've both got catapults firing. We'll just kill all of these guys quickly. Yeah, they're having a lot of routers already, which is good. And the pathfinding is going to be a bit awkward on the rocky steeps. But this is so cool. Look at the map. We're actually fighting in Mordor now. It shows the progress of the campaign. They're killing their own men as well. Look, oh, they've just got our captain there. Hit the captain. That was uh, close. Oh, come on. Hurry up. We're not killing these guys fast enough. Okay, we're going to get the flanking unit up here around. Okay, you're going to start running. Okay, we've definitely killed enough of them now. Let's get back into it. Actually, this guy should be enough to route all of these. Um, we're going to have to go for that catapult. Uh, but I'm going to have to get through them. I can't plow through all of this. Of goes our way. Well, the oh, they're hitting their own men. They are hitting their own men. Um, but yeah, we're going to have to get through. A lot of them are routing. We need to clear them up. Kill them. The movement isn't quite good enough, though, in this area. Yeah, we need to push through. They're not moving. Hit the catapult. And get the uh, captain back. And then you get in the line too, because some the rest of it's still probably going to get back into play. Because we're not we're not killing them fast enough, because we're, we're stuck on the actual terrain.
Okay, good. We still killed a lot of them. Oh no, they're not even routing now, those ones, and they're coming back into play, so we do want to try to get over here with Theodred. It's a little bit risky sending Theodred into them now. I might take the axes. It's probably risky, but I'm going to try support Theodred with the axes, because he is down to 22 men. And he's not running properly. And he's getting hit by the catapult too. Awkward. Come on. Okay, we're running a little bit better again now. Let's get over here. Oh, I might. I just. I still think it's probably better to go progressively rather than just charge straight into the whole mass of them. Okay, right. There, see, they're routing. We just need more cavalry to kind of mop them up. Routing. So we're definitely killing a lot of them. And the Maulers are routing. Okay, they're all routing again, look. We are slowly mopping them up, look. We've killed 65% of them and only lost 6% of our own men. Get into the archers. And again, the captain is trolls, so I don't want to just... Oh, that is our... Okay, that is actually our captain, so I don't want to leave that on its own. I'm guessing these trolls are still... Okay, we're into the trolls now, so we're just going to have to... Try to kill the captain. Okay, they're, they're targeting our captain up here, so we need to close in. They're moving the trolls away, which is alright. And we need to stop chasing them. Get back over here then. We can't chase them all the way. These guys are getting outnumbered now, so we need to help. Yeah, the terrain is definitely helping them because we can't go as fast as we normally can. Okay, oh, who are you shooting? He's hit our own men now, I'm sure. Uh, maybe stop firing. Okay, defeat seems certain, and the trolls are actually coming back, so let's run. 
They can't be strong trolls because they're doing the catapults. Okay, got to get back, got to get back. Okay, we're going to have to push the line up. We're getting a bit hammered. All right. Okay, we've killed the enemy general anyway. Um, so that should be the key thing. So you can get back in now. They're still holding, which is fantastic. And they're wavering now, so we should be able to route them. Yeah, they're routing, so you can turn on them. Get into them. It's lucky they were all archers, because we've still got 93 axemen, look. Because they're archers. They weren't able to actually kill the Axemen, which is great, because we definitely got them isolated. Okay, so the trolls, look, are now coming at the spearmen. That should route them when we close in, and then we're just going to have to turn on the trolls. It's only, and it's like I said, it's only catapult trolls. They're still going to be trolls, but they can't be as strong. Right, that's... Okay, you get out then. Feardred's going to go for the trolls. Kill them! Kill them all! It's very interesting having a troll catapult though. It basically means that um, it's like a catapult that is hard to take down because it's obviously manned by trolls. <laughs> Are they on their last one? There's two standing, okay. I think that was a good exchange. We only lost 10% of our men. Yeah, we'll, we'll just... Um, I'll chase down... Yeah, I'll chase down them. There's 54 of them. Come on. Yeah, you can see the speed is a little bit more challenging. This is probably the only one we're actually going to catch. Yeah, so there's two units here. There's a lot of them. Okay. That's about another 100 kills there. Which will probably eliminate this army. Okay, so we will exit now. 200 men remaining, though. They might still have a couple of units running around, but it won't be much. Look at this. 761 prisoners caught with Theodred. He took out about a 1,000 of them on his own. Look, 225 kills, 761 prisoners. Fantastic. And also with Iemer, we did locate some large Mordor armies in the north, but I think now we've actually broken through Minas Morgul, we'll, Minas Morgul. We'll bring him back down south and we'll just leave Gondor to their fate. Um, I think that's fair because we don't actually want Gondor to take Gelebrin. I've mentioned this before. If they take Gelebrin, it just means Dol Gildor is going to attack us and that's just going to make things twice as difficult. So um, we, I'm happy for them to keep the stalemate going over there, look. Because this army is big, but I think we just bring Emma back rather than actually helping out. And we can drop a watchtower here too. Why have we got so much vision anyway? Is it just because Emma? Yeah, Emma did get plus three vision, so maybe it's just that. But I'm surprised we can see so much, honestly. Good though, good. Uh, anyway, we want Theodred in that army. Anyway, on the next turn, we can push on.
And look, we can actually, we can still get reinforcements too. Look, I'm going to take the cavalry. But yeah, if you want to see the capture of Minas Ithil and you haven't seen the last episode, definitely go check that out because that was a huge unexpected win. It's the last battle in episode 40. And one amazing thing that you have to know, you get the Minas Ithil Guardians. You can only get them if Rohan conquer Minas Morgul. It's the only place you can get them in the entire game. I can't wait to try them out. It's a it's an end game unit that's super rare, basically. And we need to get the culture up to be able to recruit them properly still, though. Because we still have 0% culture. Um, until we get the standing stones and that. Right, so uh, useless buildings. We definitely want to get rid of some useless buildings. This Dominion camp, basically something to do with Sauron, will be destroying that. Way stations we can still use. Uh, yeah, we can get rid of the Brawler's Pit. I don't think that does anything. Uh, we want a Catapult Maker. Uh, we want that. We want that. Okay, we want all that. We want that. We want that. Chief that we want that. Uh, and then we can't get rid of any of that. So we get an extra, what was it, 2,000 or something? And then we can just keep building stuff over here. So we'll retrain these guys in here. And there's nothing else we can get at the moment in Osgiliath because we still, like I said, we need to build this front up a bit more. We still got to attack. I'm sending Clefair down south to take this settlement too. Uh, we, we can't. So I will just fight this one. This is a very easy one. I may even do this one off screen. Oh yeah, we did lose Yule. But I think it's alright. Um, because Prince Leonair is still Theodred's son. And he is the much better character. So I think him being king next is probably the best bet, really. It's just Yule had a fantastic name. Because the first king of Rohan was called Yule the Young. And he was called Yule and young <laughs> so yeah it would have been good but i forgot to say before that battle i underestimated basically i've been underestimating a few of the battles that have not been on the mordor front lately because i've just been expecting them to be not as challenging as mordor um, and i've definitely got to remember to not underestimate them right so where is the captain i think he's probably in this orc host Right. Okay, you guys get over here. And honestly, you use you to just kill their captain. Might not be the... Yeah, it is this unit. He's usually on the left somewhere. Okay, so you out and you in. And then that should pretty much finish the captain, I hope. Yep. Yeah, so they should route with um, 40 men left in an orc host. Any second now. Uh, and you go round. Surprised they haven't. They got a few kills on us there. Okay, let's hit the archers now. Okay, back out. Don't want to leave the peasants in for too long. And the lancers need to come back out too because the charge was odd. Okay, so they're routing so you can chase them. And then you can get into those ones. Honestly, all three of you into them. And then we'll just send someone else to kill the routers. And yeah, one more cycle charge. Uh, meanwhile, the line... Ooh, we're a bit late. We're a little bit late. A little bit late. Um, should be fine. But the infant they're probably going to hit the archers just before we get there. 
Um, but that's alright, that's alright. And back in. And Lefair, we'll get Lefair in, he'll start routing them. Because, I mean, they're already routing them, so if Lefair's in, they will definitely route. Come on. Wavering. No. Okay, not quite. Okay, back out. Oh, no, not all. Oh, it's tagging the archers in. Okay. Okay, back in. They'll definitely route now, yep. Okay, now you get them. And stop. Now we could include it because it was really short. It's already done. I'll just fast forward time now. But yes, I'll probably give the cavalry in this army over to Irma once we've taken the settlement down here. There's a ring wave in there, but there's not that much with them. Don't see a militia garrison. It's a decent settlement too. Um, it's, well, it's not that good, but it's got 6,000 population, so that means they've been building it up a fair bit. Because Whoa. basically, these settlements just about here at the north, just north of the desert, they basically almost all start with no population. So if Lefair has Lance Bearer, he's getting more experienced too. Yes. Ian is on his way down to support this area, and then we will start marching. I've already done it. But I think if I've got any spare units, I'm going to start marching the rest of them over now too. Because... And Rockburg is so close, look, to the 1200 settlement upgrade. Uh, and then these guys are going up for Frecker's army, because Frecker is launching an assault on the goblins since they marched into our territory. We are going to be get, now we don't have to deal with Ennard Wine, we'll be directing troops over there. And we're trying to basically lock down these settlements because the public order is horrible at all of the settlements. Recaptured under towers and it's still going to riot on the next turn and it's got almost a full stack so we shouldn't lose it again. And then we have to kind of assemble a force uh, over the next I don't know, five, ten turns or so and go and attack Forlond over here. So we've got to do all that before we can even think about attacking the dwarves. So hopefully Bree and the Northern Dunedain will even deal with the dwarves before we get there. So we're going to build everywhere we can now. And oh yes, I forgot to mention that. I did actually build stables pretty much in every settlement that didn't have one. And that's why literally every build it, every settlement is basically building. In fact, I think every settlement... Let's just check that. Yeah, so that's one thing I did off screen because uh, except for Rockburg, every single settlement is building. Look, because I just went around and put stables in like every single one. Okay, so we are officially ending the turn now. Um, that's quite exciting. We've got to see what happens on the Mordor front. Oh, and another thing that I I realised is I said that the um I said that the ring race respawned every ten turns or something like that. Oh look, they took Gelebrin. Oh nice, that is good actually. Dol Gildor might not come into the fight. It could make it more difficult for us if they do. But I think that's good because it's going to distract Mordor's forces. And then maybe Gondor can even push onto the Black Gate. That is good. Gondor has taken its first settlement in probably about 100 turns. <laughs> As you can see here, Dale has fallen. I'm not sure if I covered that. But the Snow Orcs are running rampant, and the Dwarves of Erebor are holding strong, but not for long, because they're getting attacked by the Easterlings on the other side too. Okay, so Return of the Wraiths, that means a couple of them have respawned. They actually respawn every seven turns, not every ten turns, which I found out while editing. So we get the Horse Breeders Guild in Minas Ithil, that's already good. Minas Morgul liberated, that's us. Minas Morgul has fallen, the mighty bastion of evil, a symbol to all the world of power of Sauron, and a Witch King is now nothing more than an empty and lifeless ruin. The battle was fierce, but the sheer number of orcs wasn't enough, and they were all undone and scattered. Now the forces of the Dark Tower must retreat and hold fast to their other strongholds. So that is absolutely fantastic. We're making a lot of progress. Look, oh, there's the Witch King. He's coming with a tiny army, look. So we will just straight away kill the Witch King again. They, You, you can tell that the um, that Mordor are struggling now. They're sending the Witch King with, like, no backup. 
<laughs> that is brilliant. Brilliant. And we're still recruiting tons of troops. Right, I'll go over this. We're building the Great Hall at Entwade, the Fairground at Aldberg, the Mason's Guildhouse and Master's Mason's Hall, Hornberg, Fold, Hornberg Foldberg, Hammerfell, Leatherworker at Byler, Stables at Swidhelm's Glory and Barad Vin, Communal Farming at Dolvorn, Standing Stones at Minas Irfil, and we've repaired the buildings at Undertowers. So, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And what should we start building at Minas Ithil? I think, honestly, we... Because we have... Yeah, we got the um, Horse Breeders Guild, so we can get a couple of units there anyway. But we need the culture up desperately, so we will be starting with the tomb. And Iema... Iema's job is to defend Minas Ithil with his life. You, you won't need to give it, though. We will be able to attack this place now, too. I think I will go ahead with it. I'm not sure what the reinforcements will be in this settlement. It could be shooting at us this time, but they don't have too much. I think we can probably swing it. Okay, so we can upgrade Hammerfell. We can upgrade Hammerfell. And we can upgrade Foldberg. So we're actually going to spend the money on that. Because they're two of our key settlements as well. So if we get that upgraded to a city and that upgraded to a stronghold, absolutely fantastic. Right, so in Dol Vaughan, we will get the... We will get the Master's Mason's Hall. We can get the Marshall Stables at Barad Vin. So I will do that, because we want all of the high-level cavalry. We can get the Stables at Byla too. That's cheap. We'll grab that. And Swidhelm's Glory. We will get the Great Hall at Swidhelm's Glory. It was between that and the Barracks. And in the Hornburg... We will probably oh we'll get the royal hall because then we get the lake we'll get the royal hall in the hornberg because we want the late late game cavalry aldberg can have the lord's hall too it's cheaper uh, entwade can get the masters and masons hall and i think we're building in every settlement again now oh look we can upgrade rockwork to a town finally i didn't see the message for that but that is good it puts us to zero gold exactly and i think we're building again in every settlement look yeah it looks like we're building in absolutely every settlement rockburg is finally going to become a town it starts almost deserted but it's going to get some walls which means that even this front line is going to be secure and now we shall do the battles first of all with Emma, we're definitely doing this one and then i might fight that guy too Okay, so we're going to be killing ourselves the Witch King. This is honestly like the fifth time we've fought him. But this puts him out of action for seven turns. And we're making significant progress, so it'll be brilliant. Still can't underestimate his unit because the Shadow Knight unit that he has are probably better than all of our cavalry too. I mean, they have to make the Witch King a little bit OP. Okay, the ride of the Rohirrim. <laughs> Okay, so they're running the Witch King over there. Okay, so we'll go this way then. Okay, I don't know where they're going. Maybe they're tr No, they can't retreat. They can't retreat. Okay, so they'll do their best to skirmish, but of course it's not going to be easy to skirmish. Uh, take the skirmish off these guys, though. Not going to be easy to skirmish against the Shadow Knights, but they'll do their best. Uh, and then we'll just have to start crushing... These guys. Okay, hit the maulers. Uh, you get over there, because they're coming in. Oh look, we've already shot down half the troops there. They're down to 25 men already, that's brilliant. Okay, you get over there then. Yeah, they're down to 19 men, they just got completely obliterated by our archers. That is fantastic. Okay, let's, um, honestly wasn't expecting that, that's brilliant. Okay, um, that's why we have so many archers. Uh, if they want to go back at the archers, look, they're down to 13 men, the archers just ripped them to shreds. Brilliant, 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 okay. 10 men, look, they should be skirmishing, but... It's not going to matter too much now. Oh, they're not running, they're not running. It's lucky they're all terrible. 
they're just maulers, so we'll just kill them. The only one to watch out for is the one that's already got ripped to shreds there. Actually, don't throw your javelins. Victory will be ours. Uh, kill this, kill the uh, archers before the spears, definitely, because the Witch King might get killed already. The Witch King's down to two men in the unit already. <laughs> Honestly, they could probably just melee him then. Uh, send all of these ones into melee. Oh, can't quite hit him. Can't, oh, we're going to have to get over there. Yeah, the Witch King is already up on his own, so we're gonna. I'm gonna send all the archers into melee just to mob him, and then we are getting charged down here. Should be fine though. Um, wasn't fully paying attention, but yes, let's go out for another. They shouldn't be able to kill many because it is all band. All band is terrible. And the Witch King should be going down at any second. Okay, I don't know who's... It's just the Riddermark Cavalry who's stuck. Okay, they're completely split apart now. Let's just charge them. Oh wow, look at this shot. They have lost half their men. <laughs> the javelin's coming in too. I told them to turn fire at will off, but oh well. Okay, I honestly thought they were going to rout there. It's because the Witch King is still alive. That is the, why they didn't rout. But I will have taken a couple of casualties I didn't want there. If they could just kill the Witch King, that would be great. Okay, let's do what we do for the halberds. Let's go round with the other lot. There's only 16 archers. Kill. They should route now, even with the Witch King, because they're pretty much dead. Look, yeah, good. And now we will go have a look at the Witch King if he doesn't die. Let's see if we can find him before he dies. <laughs> Here he is. He's still killing our men, but he is OP. <laughs> Finish him off, please. Where's he got to? They're still hacking away at him. Uh, we will send everybody into him now. He won't last much longer. <laughs> Good. He's dead. So we must have killed him about four times. I think we fought him five times, but I remember he did escape with his life in the second engagement. 224 kills for the Riddermark Cavalry, though. That was really good. But yes, we do need to build up Osgiliath and Minas Ithil. 
as soon as possible because we need to be able to send troops from here without having to march them all the way over from here every single time. Even though I've just got over the hour mark, there'll be a little bit to edit out, so I think I'm still going to fight this one. So this should be the charge where the captain goes down. Yep. Both lots will probably route. Hopefully, not definitely. Um, no, it's a little bit there. No, they've got to just uh, they blah, blah, blah. can't talk. They supported just in time. I was trying to say. You still never. Yep, they have still routed. Brilliant. Didn't expect that. Okay. Uh, you guys start shooting at those ones, and then we can get here some bring him down for some cavalry reinforcements and then we'll go hunt some more wraiths because now we can actually hunt the wraiths before they start getting an army because we've walked we've got so far into mordor which is brilliant that's uh that's enough look and then you stop firing Behold how our cowardly foe runs it's time to press the attack good we will fast forward time and end the episode there so thanks for watching and i'll see you Next time. Remember this day. Remember it as the day of our most glorious victory. They must get bored of saying that every time. <laughs> Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.